students from current PGDM batch 2021-23 feel honored to introduce our today's guest, Mr. Arun Singhal, an excellent leader and great mentor who is currently an advisor for APCME, one of the leading education consulting firms. He is the founder and principal mentor and managing partner of Enrich Mentors Company where his aim is to help individuals, SMEs, to improve their performance through coaching and counseling. He has done his MBA in marketing and finance from IM Bangalore and has worked over 26 years in companies like Unilever, Johnson & Johnson, Dumex. He also works for IM Udhapur as a head of placement. He has an in-depth knowledge of marketing, sales, HR, finance, supply chain, and has an understanding and experience of India financial markets in equity, mutual funds, and insurance. His aim now is to share his knowledge and experience of his 40 years with students like us to help us improve our performance. I welcome you, sir. Thank you, Ayushi. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Ayushu. That, that was a very generous introduction. Appreciate. And it shows that you've done a lot of good homework by reading all that I have my LinkedIn page. You connected earlier. So that's yes, a good sir. start. That's a good start for a good career. Good preparation is always a good start. So uh, hi. Hello, everyone. Students specifically. I can't see you, but uh, 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 welcome to this session. And uh, this session we're going to do in... Uh, a question answer session. Uh, I believe that will help me address your concerns and give you advice and answers to the questions that you have in mind. And the today's topic we have is how do we maximize your learning outcomes uh, for a B school? So, so I'll say a couple of sentences and then start. So obviously we need to understand what are the challenges in maximizing learnings, and how do we overcome those challenges? I have a couple of thoughts, but let me start with all of you. So what do you think? What questions come to your mind as we start now? And I believe the method is that you can write the questions and uh, someone will sure. ask that question. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll help you with that, sir. Right. Uh, students, you. you can ask your question in the question answer chat box. Right, and we'll take one of the questions and answer that. First question always takes a bit of time. They are thinking. How to prepare yourself for corporate? Manoj, second year student, sir. Prepare. How to prepare yourself for corporate? How to prepare yourself? Question, Manoj. Wonderful question to start. And thank you so much for being the first one to ask. Uh, that's what you are demonstrating. So great. Great for asking that question. So see, how to prepare yourself for the corporate? Uh, yeah, we'll take one at a time. Sure, Once sure. I finish this, then we'll take the next one. See, uh, I'll give you a straight answer and then we will go into it. If there are follow-up questions, you can put chat in the chat there. See, there are in anything that you want to do well, generally in principle in life is first you have to understand. You have to treat uh, uh, the place or the people with whom you want to do well, you have to treat them as your customer, right? And you have to understand what is it that they need. So if you want to do well in corporate, you need to define who are your corporates, where you want to do well, right? And you may, be not, you may not have all the answers, right? And it is, life is never, doesn't give you answers straight away on a, on a platter, on a ek plate pe aapko sare sawalon ke jawab nahi mil jate dheere dheere hame pata padte hain we all come to know slowly the answers to that so first we need to understand what are the requirements of the corporate let me share with you some come of the common requirements of the corporates and there are specific requirements unki specific zaruraten bhi hoti hain the top most number one requirement of all the corporates is excellence in communication skills because we as his human beings either in face-to-face -face or online, we communicate. 
how many how many hours or minutes every day out of 24 we keep communicating and unless we and communication here means understanding of somewhat someone is communicating to us and communicating back our point of view and reaching some kind of understanding with each other and that is a skill by itself language doesn't matter don't worry about the language i mean great example is our own prime minister modi ji right is he great in english obviously not but is he great in communication oh wonderful duniya bhar ke log ba khade ho ke taali baja ke unko sunte hain so first number one skill is the communication skill so we need to master the communications so you need to prepare to do well on communication let me tell you how to prepare and we'll take one example and then i'll show you other things also so if you want to become excellent your goal should be become excellent communication skills because that is what the corporate world is looking for so first you need to understand what is the excellent model what is the model what is the gold standard in communication because jo jo tumhe model malum padega usi se aap se sikhoge that's what you will learn and that's what you will become so you need to understand what is the best world class best model in communication so first is understanding that model understanding the requirement understand the best in class practice and then actually practicing it there is a huge difference between doing and doing jab hum karne jaate hain to hamara sara jo jante hain wo hindi mein bolte hain dhara ka dhara reh jata hai nervous ho jate hain we get scared i have started doing videos right now i have just published my first course in udemy and two weeks back my son in law came and said so i said meri knowledge mein kaise phaila hu to na bole dad video banao to pehla video banaya hawaiyan udhi padi thi aata tha par nahi kar paya dheere dheere practice so practice is the first thing so practice and they say if you become a master in something you must practice for 10000 hours okay wo bahut zyada ho sakta hai but that's the practice so my thing is that if you can do 3 to 6 time practice you will start learning so you need to understand what skills are required for each of them learn the best in class model and practice and you have uh, if you are the first year you have lot of time relative to the second year students but you can find time and we will talk about that's one of the challenge what to practice what to learn is the biggest challenge learning is a ocean i am 63 abhi bhi mereko kuch nahi aata not even fraction of the universe knowledge mere ko aati hai i don't even know anything so we need to prioritize what is it that we need to learn so we need to understand what are the corporate requirement what is that second most important thing you will see is problem solving skills your life as a manager and leader would be to around solving problems you will want to achieve something it will not happen or it will and you need to figure out why is it not happening what should i do differently so that it happens so again you go back and learn the best in class models there practice it and become excellent so lead to understand skills so that's one part of common skills then then, then there are role specific knowledge and skills required so you need to first figure out ki yaar mujhe corporate mein kahan jana hai what kind of do i want to go into marketing do i want to go to supply chain do i want to go to finance in hr और इसमें किस तरह के रोल्स हैं वॉट आर द काइंड ऑफ रोल्स इफ आई वॉन्ट टू गो टू मार्केटिंग वॉट आर टाइप ऑफ रोल्स एंड देन फॉर ईच ऑफ द रोल्स यू टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट काइंड ऑफ नॉलेज एंड स्किल्स इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड देन लर्न एंड यू हैव यू आर इन अ लर्निंग इंस्टीट्यूट ए ग्रेट लर्निंग इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड यू नीड टू देन टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ योर कोर्स वर्क प्रोफेसर लर्निंग एनवायरमेंट लर्न द कॉन्सेप्ट डू द प्रोजेक्ट अप्लाई इन लाइफ एंड लर्न सो लॉन्ग आंसर टू योर क्वेश्चन बट दैट्स हाउ इट इज फॉर विद मी so does that answer a question manoj while manoj is thinking we can take the second question sure sir uh how to get yes sir he he said yes so i think it's well defined uh how to get motivated how to get motivated to do what to get out of comfort zone Okay. So, so I mean, and actually, I must admire that your students are asking tough questions. They are like they are posing bouncers right in the first over. So obviously, you guys are doing a wonderful job. Okay. Uh, 
how to get out of a comfort role uh, how to get out of your comfort zone and get motivated see one of the ways to get out of we all get comfortable and that's a absolutely good realization now what is the ways is to get out of comfort is to set high goals goals for excellence and and make those goals public tell everyone tell everyone that i want to become a management <clears throat> trainee in the best fmcg in the country hindustan unilever and i will do whatever it takes to achieve that once you do that public uh, can you be com sitting comfortable in your room and doing nothing that's one thing so set up an environment set yourself challenging goals and uh, make them public that's first thing second then you need to have the right company of people choose your friends wise there are friends who will demotivate you they'll say nahi nahi yaar kuch nahi ho sakta tu kuch nahi kar sakta koi karne ki zarurat nahi aise doston se cut lo to use the not sincere word get stay away from such friends because they are not the right influencer on you and on you motivating in fact i have a small there's a small booklet on how to motivate yourself how to do best how to uh, so there are a lot of material that i can be able to share later on with you as it may require so what a second thing is says go in the right company third thing is while you set those high level goals i mean so set step by steps few short term goals and start with a goal that you can achieve all of us get motivated if we start succeeding so set long term goals as high term goals and break down to smaller goals that you can achieve and those goals should be achievable challenging but achievable you must have heard setting a smart goal specific measurable ambitious but realistic and time bound so set smart goals specific goals by end of this semester i will do this end of the my placement season i want to get into hindustan unilever but within this uh, uh, term i would become excellent in communication skills so set intermediate goals and those goals should be realistic achievable so as you set those high goals if you set intermediate as you start achieving intermediate goals and you start you start motivating in the right company chances are that life will not allow you to remain in your comfort goal and us help you will have some friends some well wishers and say hey you know i i have a tendency to slip into comfort zone right so what help do you need hey any time you find slipping me give me a big kick you'll be doing me a favor and these are your very close friends who can really give you that kind of uh, you know uh, kick to start you up again so i don't know does has that answer your question uh, i don't know who had asked this question dr vartika but sarin aryan aryan that was a great question that was a great question it took me a couple of mind time to think but uh, if there anything else further please follow up questions feel free to ask anyone right so next question uh, you yeah. want to take the question so uh, like uh, so akash has a question how to implement the learning you that we how to the how to implement the learning that we gathered <clears throat> yeah in the two year of program in corporate world oh wonderful you guys are your students are really bright i tell you you students are bright uh, and they are very practical see the point is uh, and that's what i see in your focus of institute is how do you remain industry focused right mm -hmm. so that seems to be paying off honestly so how to implement what you learn what you gather and learn in the two years okay uh, how do you how do you implement okay two things the <clears throat> first thing i would say is uh, implementation means doing it so anything first you need to define as i said learning is a vast ocean 
you can't do everything. Please realize that. The biggest challenge in maximizing learning is staying focused. There are, there are so many, six streams, sales, marketing, finance, HR, IT, systems, whatever we want to call it. So there's a lot of challenges, a lot of areas to do that. And within that, there are a lot of roles also. You need to get focused. And my advice there is you need to work backwards. Even if you are on day one in the campus for the first year students, you need to have uh, a tentative goal, a tentative, nothing is final in life. You need to say, hey, what is it that I want to do at the end of the two years in my campus? And they're defined in terms of role, not in terms of functions. I want to become an area sales manager in Unilever. I want to become a systems analyst in Cisco, whatever. And define at least two, plan A, plan B. At least two, if you have a plan C, wonderful. But plan A, plan B, two things you define. Then you understand what is that, understand the roles. You will be able to find a job description. Job description is a god for all of us in campuses, especially students in placement team. So go and read the jobs. That will tell you what is it that they're looking for. Now start focusing your learning on that. Choose your subjects accordingly. And uh, so you will learn the concepts in the classes. Now, what another advice I have for you is that don't go to classes like a Hindi mein मैम और सर को इंगेज करो उनसे डाउट्स क्लियर करो ठीक है तो यू विल लर्न द कांसेप्ट इन डेप्थ जैसे वैल्यू प्रोपोजिशन पे क्लास ले चल रहे हैं तो मैम ये वैल्यू प्रोपोजिशन क्या होती है सर ये वैल्यू प्रोपोजिशन क्या होती है कुछ बता सकते हैं डीटेल इसमें क्या होता है व्हाट आर द कंपोनेंट कैन यू शो अस अ वैल्यू प्रोपोजिशन सो यू विल रेज द लेवल ऑफ सेकंड सो दैट्स हाउ यू लर्न द कांसेप्ट इन डेप्थ Second thing, do a project on that. The implementation live is doing it. So say, okay, I want to do a project in this. And the world is open. You can say, okay, you reach out. I mean, we used to do in I am Bangalore. So our profs used to teach us the content and tell us, okay, now I want you to go and implement by doing something. So go out, talk to ITC in the city, do a project on this. So we used to go out, we used to make a team of four or five students. Teams are better, you get a lot of learning there. So go out, talk to local companies and say, hey, sir, we, man, we want to do a project in this. Happy to do something that can help you and help us learn also. So doing projects. Now, in doing projects, again, there is an art. You must go back, not do entirely on your own because you don't know what are you doing right. So first you need to understand what is it that you need to deliver. Then come back and discuss within the team what is the right approach, methodology that you're going to use based on what you have learned. Discuss with one of your profs or one of your coaches and mentor. Is this the right approach? He, and that's that's what is called strategy of the project. So you will learn most there. And then you actually start implementing. And there you will find a lot of obstacles. And you will go back to your faculty member or you can go back to the company or you can work in the team and figure it out. So that's how you keep going. So choose. And since you can't do projects in very large numbers, you can do maybe max five, six in a term. So you need to choose what are the six projects that you want. Does that answer your question? Uh, I did uh, Okay, sorry, my apologies. That, that was again a great question. Ash, what Ash. Ash. Yeah. So, so Prince have yeah. a next question. Uh, want to make career in yeah. finance. Yeah. What are the career opportunities? Yeah. I think? Oh, career in finance. Again, great questions, guys. I mean, I am happy that I'm not putting a canned presentation because I would have been to give you this depth and richness in discussion there. So what are the careers in finance? And Prince, that's a good question again. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to give you some possible. So one of the, uh, now it's a dichotomy of life. Typically finance, there is, there is a sector of companies called banking, financial services industry right bfsi banking financial services that's though that's a sector you would be going into finance if you want to go into the core streams other companies also have people in finance but my advice first is to go into your core stream so if it is join bfsi first thing 
So in, let's look at a BFSI, a company like ICICI Bank, which is a part of BFSI. What kind of roles would they have? The largest number of roles come as relationship manager. They are not core finance job. They're financial services <clears throat> marketing jobs, but they are BFSI industry. Why? Because please know that sales and marketing is the largest role and jobs possibility there. So that's one role. So how do you become a good relationship manager? How do you become a good wealth manager? There, your objective will be to maximize the portfolio of your client. So you need to learn on portfolio management. How do you analyze a portfolio? So that's one possible role, becoming a wealth manager, becoming a relationship manager. So that's a front end role. Now, ICICI Bank, then there will be people. One of the things that ICICI Bank needs is... Uh, uh, they give a lot of loans, right? They, they, and there's a lot of risk assessment required in the role. So how do you assess the risk with client? The role, how do you do the risk assessment, risk management? Then there are roles in product management, even in a financial companies, in financial services. Uh, then there are companies, uh, that's in ICICI Bank. Then there are banks, uh, there are operating roles in banks. Right, you could be a branch manager. You could be a, a cluster manager. You and branch manager is a brilliant role. It's a general management role. I mean, uh, if you can get general management role early in life, so there what you do? You have a team of people who will go and acquire clients or manage clients, uh, casa, current accounts and saving account, or loans or whatever. Then you have an operating team, a system operating team in the branch who will actually do all the operations from managing the accounts and updating the accounts. So you manage those people, make sure they're doing the things right, right? Uh, then, then you have, uh, 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 then you have uh, what are the other kinds of people? So broadly, two categories: operations and sales are the two categories of people you have. Then you look at uh, insurance industries again. Insurance industry assess people, uh, assess people. Then there is a very specific niche role of analysts, uh, equity analyst roles, in, but that's numbers are coming down. Uh, so you analyze the companies, you analyze the shares, and you, you suggest whether this company is overvalued, undervalued, right valued, should you buy the shares of this company. So equity analyst is again a role, but the numbers are shrinking. In a, in a growing number of roles is happening, and this is a, this is a great opportunity. If you, there is a role of coming off of uh, people who know finance and who know coding. If you're an IT guy or you've learned IT, because what is happening is uh, we need more and more financial analysts in the financial industry. People who can do financial modeling, who can access data using their coding uh, understanding and knowledge and skills in Python or similar technologies. Extract all the data themselves and do modeling and go back to the management and say, hey, based on the data, and these are the insights and these are the opportunities and threats and this is what we should do. So that's a financial. So these are a couple of roles that I can think of. So does that answer your question, Fritz? Yes, sir. Uh, so right. we have uh, next question, Ramil. Uh, how to learn and what to learn, how to crack the interview and what do we need to develop Okay, so he's talking about how to track the interviews. Okay, so interviews are of two kinds, uh, or, or one is, of course, your summer and final. Let's focus on final, the end goal. Uh, the interview cracking again comes in three steps, and actually, I'm again going to release in two weeks' time another course on Udemy on how to crack interviews, uh, how to do well in interviews. Uh, and happy to share that uh, whenever that happens. Uh, so what it requires is it's again a three-step process, cracking, planning, preparing, and performing. And this is the precise part of that I'm course that I'm going to tell you. You need to first plan. And they think that you are now talking about how to crack the interview. So part of the planning is to say, okay, uh, what kind of interviews do you want to crack? What kind of roles? Which companies? And... So you need to define that requires for you to choose. And this is where you start making some strategic choices for yourself. What are the right roles for me? And for that, you need what are you good at? What are your strengths? What are your, what are you good at? What are your strengths? 
what are the areas of improvement that you'll be able to cover up by the time you come to the interview. So figure those out. And of course, keep working. My suggestion is to start on strengths. Strengths are like your solid ground on which you stand. Don't, never stand on your weakness. If I'm not a good, good at Python right now, let me not even think of financial advice. If I'm good at uh, analyzing companies and numbers and crunching, then I can think of equity analysts. Also. So identify what roles do I want to go into. Read the JDs right now in first term, first month actually. Understand what they're looking for in this part of the planning. Be a list of skills that they need, knowledge skills that they need. So you know now what is to, what. So that's part of the planning. Then you have to say, okay, second part is preparing. I mean, now I'm going to prepare this. So how do I prepare? So there are things that I know. So I need to, I need to start preparing. The, the, the part, the biggest challenge for all of us is, and I'm going to say this is uh, told me by one of my great friends in uh, Johnson & Johnson, Alex, he's, he's managing director of one of the companies. We're working together. He says, Arun, the biggest challenge in life is I don't know what I don't know. Right? Do you see that? I don't know what you, do you know what you don't know? You don't know. So you need to figure out what is it that you don't know about that. You might think Michael Sabata. Hum sabka, especially, sorry guys, in second year. Second year, aate aate hum sabata. Or nikalte nikalte lagta hai, ab to dunia jeet lenge. Which is good in terms of confidence, but thoda se niche bhi aane ki zarurat hai. So what we need to figure out is get assessed by a mentor. And hey sir, this is the role that I want to get cracking. Sir, a rigorous interview le na mera. Now, tell me where I need to improve work on what I need to improve. So, so, figure out what you need to improve on. So, that's a get yourself a test. Then you know what to improve on. Then you start preparing on that. And preparation, as you're saying, understand, get the best-in-class models, learn the best-in-class model, practice. Journey doesn't end here in terms of the interview. You think you have now learned everything? Go back to same rigorous mentor and say, hey, sir, I prepare for it. One time, let check it out. I'm going to tell you, it takes three to six marks interview to reach to that level of perfection. So do three to six mock interviews. And I can guarantee you, if you if you get certified as in, uh, in my coaching, I, I use word uh, grading called red, yellow, and green. Greens are, yes, you're right, you will crack it. Yellow on the way. Red, you have to do a lot of work. If you don't do it, then you'll stay here. So assess, prepare, perform in mock interview, get assessed, prepare again. So it's a loop. Do this three to six times and you will crack that. Does that answer your question, Ramil? Ramil, right? Ramil, yes, sir. Wonderful. Great. The next question we have, what advice do you have for someone new to the industry? I think we have already answered this question. New to the industry means you are a fresher, right? Yeah. Probably. Okay. Again, a great question, guys and girls. Because freshers have the biggest challenge. I mean, assuming I'm a fresher, I've done my schooling and then BCom and then I'm directly here, I have no experience. So my biggest challenge is how do I accumulate that work experience that, uh, you know, and the skills that I'm looking for? Uh, see, again, the answer goes in, again, the same way. First, you need to focus on everyone I want to go. If the challenge will be bigger because, so you need to take a lot of mentoring support good mentor, a good coach, family, friends. Again, right circle is important. Faculty, you know, uh, people in placement, colleagues, seniors, so you need to reach out to those. So figure out where do you want to go, where are you most suitable to go. Then there's your challenge is a lot more because you need to do probably double the speed of the guys who have experience in terms of project work, in terms of your understanding. Your advantage is you don't have any baggages on your shoulder. 
you are fresh back that's your biggest pitch when you go for a cracking your interview you say hey man sir i have no baggages fresh i can learn anything i am totally new i'll be able to learn faster than the people other people because they'll have to first and learn what you want to teach them so i have no other unlearning to do i'm willing to learn so that's uh, so that's my advice is to uh the double up your work effort prioritize and do a lot of work that in a very very focused work and that's where i would like to bring the concept basically in terms of maximizing learning the biggest challenge in the maximizing the learning is what to learn because what is the challenge the learning is a huge i mean you ask your teachers and professors uh, and people in industry we there's no end to learning in life right so question is how do i so it's it said you must adopt to adopt the team opportunity variety of subjects one or two areas you need to go into deep enough of those you can't you can't go all over all six subjects down you will drown so go use the team out all the variety of things choose one that you have natural inclination and aptitude to go into and dig deep into till the time you come to an out so that's the one advice so that's how you can maximize in one area and one area i would say not even a function marketing but a role i want to be so good in the, in sales management that when unilever comes for that interview they say hey are you she how to hire you when can you join us we really want to be located what is it that you want in life girl how can i get you so be good and that's where i would like to my favorite share from ikbal which is i would i use uh, i'm sure you would have heard kar khud hi ko itna bulan raise yourself to such high levels of excellence ki khuda bhi teri takdeer likhne se pehle before even the god writes your fate comes and ask you hey ayush hey god hey ramel hey uh, brings hey akash what is this that you want so excellence in fact those are the two mantras for excellence uh, in fact the same question was asked by the dean of academics at i am on their whole so how can we maximize our learning so i said two formulas one excellence whatever you do be the best excellence there's no room for mediocrity there are enough mediocre people so maximize is learning in one area and you can't do everything second integrity be honest to yourself how good am i so if you are integrity honesty and excellence you would have made the beginning of maximizing and you would have a great career yeah next question if you have ji yes, sir uh, sir uh, we have next question that these days we have abundance of information at our end in all perspectives so how to decide or filter information that the relevant comes to us oh wonderful question you guys are good i must tell you dr vartika your students are really good i'm willing to vouch for them now thank you, <laughs> thank you so much sir. yeah okay uh, so there's lots of information question is how do you filter and it's actually a very easy process and i use I manage my education also. So what you need to start is what is called being result oriented. If the information is coming, don't look at it. Don't look at random information coming to you. So be very goal oriented. You say, okay, we want to achieve. Start with the end. What is the end? I want to become a great sales manager. Starting with Unilever. going into that uh, career over a period of time so what do i need to learn so decide so what information do i need to do that uh, you all of you will do a course in market research and that there is a powerful technique that they can teach you and they will teach you there so 
it's again in market research again the question is you know like when you do market research do you randomly go and look information no you don't because it's costly so what you do is you say okay what is my research objective what do i want to achieve at the end of the research so every information search you say okay what do i want to achieve with this information search and then say ways to define is say okay what questions do i want to answer by end of this uh, research and hey if i want to answer these question what information do i need to collect and once you know what information you have the filter ready you can apply that filter look for very focused so focus is extremely critical because we don't have unlimited time we have maybe 60 70 years of time and right now you have 2 years of time in 2 years you need to uh, learn the best that you can do and uh, move on in life so filtering is and if i answer that question properly yeah. do we need need to compare ourselves to know our abilities now uh, do we need to compare ourselves compare ourselves to others to know our ability uh compare ourselves to, with others to know our abilities this is again a great question very good question and the answer is yes it do in uh, in absolute terms there's no need see you need to be confident about yourself you need to know what you are good at so so the answer there is you know but at the same time the world is competitive so when you going to be sitting in the interviews you not going to be the only one so you need to continuously benchmark yourself and say how good am i but there is a certain level there is also an absolute and there is also a comparative you need to do both absolute comes from your customer this is what i want you know any any customer your customer is a recruiter what does he or she want he or she wants excellence in problem solving skills he or she wants excellence in communication he wants in depth understanding of marketing concept so that's absolute so first you need to go for that now in going for that you won't become excellent on day one day first mock interview even after six you may not become excellent you may be only on the way to excellent so you as i'm talking to you i, I recognize that Uh, it's difficult to compare yourself in classes, but in the final interview, you get about comparison. Be your own standard. Do what the end customer is looking for. Define that excellence in a way with the help of a mentor and knowledgeable person, or from the customer. Like uh, uh, we asked, we uh, we have in the time you deliver at the camp. Say, but what are you looking for? And can you tell me? Can can, can you? Uh, you would be shocked to know he gave me nine things. He said we're looking for students who are great leaders. We're looking for people who have great marketing uh, knowledge. We're looking for people who are creative, who are problem solving at the same time. So I told Amit, so yeah, this is like asking for. He said, yeah, but we are the best company in the country, right? So who else will ask for the all these things? So I need to then have a dialogue with them, or a person in that industry. Like, if you want to know what does J J D, who else could be better than Pradeep, Pradeep uh, sir of uh, J D. So sir, have a session, sir. We want to have a session with you and say, tell us what does J J excellence in J J means. If you want to go into J J, and there's an opportunity. so ask the people that and define that excellence and work towards that i think forget comparison because comparison at time can be unfair but recognize that the world is prepared prepare be the best so even the god should come and ask you hey are you she hey tamil what is it that you want and in that process if you do that you will the raise the level of the institute itself to that level they'll say yaar chalo जयपुरिया चलते हैं अभी थोड़ा आए हैं उदयपुर को साइड में रखते हैं। विल दैट लुक गुड 
<laughs> okay. So Sakshi, I have a question. That, uh, keeping in mind the post-pandemic scenario, it is witnessed uh, that the attitude and working lives in the corporate has changed. So how to uh, stay relevant in the industry with such, a, with such scenarios? Okay. Sakshi, again, yeah. a wonderful question, Sakshi. And you guys are like uh, on the leading edge of questioning here. Okay, so first my advice is to first to understand what are the changes in attitudes in working of the corporates that has happened or will continue to happen. And we know some of that. TCS. TCS say, hey, we want you to work from home now. So we need to work from home. And we want to deliver the same or even better results. And that, that requires even less supervision. Because here we could supervise you. At home, we are not going to supervise. We are not going to put a camera and say, are you kya kha rahe ho, kya kar rahe Kitne ghanta kaam kiya, kitne ghanta. So we want to be more result -oriented. So there's a lot more focus on what you are doing versus what you are delivering. So that's the biggest change in attitude that's happening. People are now saying, Ayushi, I don't care. Pramil, uh, Sakshi, I don't care what you do at home, what time you work. I want this by end of the day at 8 o'clock. Can you deliver that? So that's the biggest change. Delivery and that delivery, I want a quality delivery so that I have a presentation tomorrow to make. I want it by 8 o'clock tonight. Can you do that? Do whatever it takes. Call me anytime before that. Entirely ownership on it. So as a change of post-COVID time when you're working more and more from home, you have to be a lot more on your own, a lot more ownership of whatever you're doing. You can't say, ma'am, sir, you didn't deliver, so I could deliver. No, sorry. If I have you, I say, are you sure? You were supposed to deliver. You should have bugged me, called me. Whatever it takes to see, you clarify your doubts and do this. So a lot more ownership that we need. So we need to figure out those changes in attitudes. Some of it are clear. And then we need to start working on that. We need to say, okay, I need to take more ownership in life. I can't say, sir, you didn't tell me, that's why I didn't do it. Sir, what do you have to do? Tell me. So that's what we need to do. We need to keep adapting to this. And a lot more will happen uh, by way of working from home, working on your own, delivering quality without any supervision, in time, in quality, within the cost. So how do I learn and do that? That's what the challenge in post-COVID world is. Hope I'm talking some sense. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, so what, whatever you're talking is absolutely is making absolutely sense and it's relatable because these uh, as as sir said, Mr. Sir said the second year students have just come down with, from their SIP. So now uh, they are more curious to know the implementation part because they have you know a bit of knowledge now that how are we implementing things. Uh, so uh, this, that is why they have a lot of questions coming into their mind. So absolutely. Are there any specific tools to measure learning outcomes, Prabhdiman? Oh God, this is like a tough question. Are there specific tools to measure learning outcomes? Yeah, sure. Any, any process that you want to do, and if learning is a process, there are tools to measure the outcome. If you have a goal, so first, the learning must have a goal. I'm learning marketing. I'm learning sales and marketing too. What is my goal? To become a great sales manager, area sales manager. So my goal is that. And I will learn. So go back and say, be result oriented and walk back what process, what life. So my goal is a great sales manager. Probably a chance uh, get a recruited by best FM teachers in the country, including you. That's my goal. And I want to learn a course. So what will I do? So as I start learning. So then I need to assess myself. Assessment is the greatest tool. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm making Pradeep's life miserable. So uh, Pradeep, sir, you've been in the FMCG industry, sir. So, sir, I want to get assessed myself for an, a, a sales job, sir, a sales management job. So you have done that. You're also managing director now. So can you find some people who can do that for me? Or if you can... You know, 
can you do that for me and i'll be happy to do that actually uh, my passion is to as i uh, she picked it up rightly my passion is to make sure that as many of you do do even better than me in my life as fast as possible so get assessors against that area sales manager role what have you learned how much well have you learned tests and one of the things that all of you face is your examinations right so your marks are a reflection of how well are you learning but marks is only one story other part is actually with the person who is possibly going to hire and actually this happens is if you start getting to your campus uh, this is a great uh, this is the concept one of my placement officer brought it i no longer work i am there for now i've been about a month now so one of the concept he says that i will bring mentors from different corporates and assign students to them like for, can i bring mentors from hindustan union labor and those people you get assess you learn from that get assess by the time you finish your one year you might become so good they say yaar isko to main utha leta isko to itna invest kiya maine khud ne i have invested personally so why would i let it go so there's a great placement strategy dr vartika so i hope that i've answered that question ji sir yeah what should i be doing to improve my career prospects to meet the company profile what should i do to improve my career improve prospects? my career prospects to meet the company profile in the last i in the last three words and the company profile in the company yeah. profile yeah okay see again uh, your prospects are a function of two things again i would say first how good you are in that chosen area so choose the right area so there is a uh, three point of what could be the best role for you your interest what you love doing kaun si aisi cheez ho jisko karte karte raat ke 2 baj jate hain aur yaar khana peena bhul jati hai mom sir sab bhul jate hain kha lo beta kha lo beta ma'am kar rahe hain ma'am aa raha hu sir so usme bhul jate hain so what's your passion in life Second, where is your basic innate capability? कहाँ पे तुम जल्दी सीख सकते हो? Maths जल्दी आती है कि you know the technology जल्दी आती है या ये उसको सीखो. Third, किस में market है? So the three sector. Where is the market? What are my capabilities and where is my interest? Find that intersection. In that section, start with becoming the best. Raise yourself to that level of standard. that even the god will come and ask hey sakshi what is it that you want so first is becoming the best in whatever you do second thing is publicize and here i want to tell a story i want to tell a story of how modi ji uh, this was the story of modi ji's first uh, uh, election campaign landslide win and uh, onm a close good friend uh, uh, piyush pande did the campaign for onm so he was being asked on cnbc yeah priyush batao tumne kiya kya hai priyush is a very humble guy jaipur se main bhi jaipur se tha to bola yaar humne kuch nahi kiya hai ye sab modi ji ne kiya hai to kya acha theek hai chalo modi ji ne kiya hai bole modi ji na teen cheez kari hai pehle to kuch kiya gujarat mein 10 saal kya kiya development kiya gujarat ka acha development jiske bare mein bata sake so pehle to kuch karo तुम्हारे पास डेढ़ साल है स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम बिगनिंग डेढ़ पौने दस बिफोर द प्लेसमेंट स्टार्ट कुछ ऐसा करो कि लोग बाग उठ के देखें सो पहले करो स्टेन ही सेट फिर मैं मैंने मैंने इंडिया के सामने बस हो गया और बताया मैंने क्या किया सो देन यू डू गो एंड टेल योर रिक्रूटर दिस इज व्हाट आई हैव डन थर्ड बोला मैं ये तुम्हारे लिए भी कर सकता हूं सो थ्री स्टेप प्रोसेस डू समथिंग that's the part of operations learning then start marketing yourself by saying this is what i did so write a cv put your projects even there's a concept of preparing a portfolio design schools do that vartika ji mm-hmm. so they they in a in a file they create the work that they have done because they can't showcase otherwise so they create the work and okay. have that portfolio go to the interview show them sir this is what i have done these are the projects these are the outcomes 
And this is the feedback of trust guys. So create that portfolio, show them. It says, sir, what can you do? Oh, my God. उठा के ले जाएंगे लोग गाड़ियां लगा के सामने हाउ टू मैनेज द वर्कलोड अंडर प्रेशर गुड क्वेश्चन ओके हाउ डू यू हैंडल द वर्कलोड सी इट्स अ मैटर ऑफ प्रायोरिटाइजेशन हु इज द हु आस्क दैट क्वेश्चन सर अनिरुद्ध 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 अगेन दैट्स अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन अनिरुद्ध so it's a matter of prioritization you should learn in life to prioritize every day there will be 10 more things that you can handle so you need to say you need to actually prioritize that's how i start my day i say kya karna hai i actually make it number 1 number 2 number 3 number 5 number 6 number 7 and i say i'm going to forget about 2 3 4 5 till i finish the number Have faith in God. Life is very complex, है, complicated. है कि हमारे अपने बस के नहीं है यार. So बाकी भगवान पे छोड़ो. बोलो number one most important thing is this. This is what I'm going to attach today. So you need to prioritize. And the prioritizing principles are basically the two by two matrix. So what is urgent and what is important. And I have a session. I have a course. And uh, we. Uh, Pradeep, Pradeep has done in J J already. When we were in J J, we taught everyone how to prioritize. So there is. So you look at what, what are the things that I have on my table. What is important? And out of important things, what is urgent? Not important. I I keep it. Jab important le liya. Important means jo urgent hai. Aaj ke aaj hi karne usko kiya. Baaki sab ko baad mein kar diya. and that's how you can handle workload and pressure and few things will not happen and that's all right but those must be the things that are not important and especially not urgent so we have another 5 minutes i am happy to take more time if you need to uh, but, sir we yeah sure so so we can conclude with whatever your thoughts because the questions are revolving around jobs around <laughs> career around prospects these are the the, the questions which are coming into their mind Wonderful. So let's conclude. That's a good thought, Sharika. Yes. And uh, and can you believe I'm going to go back to my cheat sheet, which I started saying. If no question will come, then I will ask you. I say. So so and all of you kind of uh, uh, came with flying colors. So I said. So biggest challenge. I my first thing is in maximizing learning. The biggest challenge is so much to learn, and only a limited time. right that's the biggest challenge so how do i learn what will work for me immediately in longer term in this two years so that i maximize my output my goal and my goal in the short term is to get placed in the longer term is to build a career successfully in that area right dr jitendra had specifically mentioned that we need to keep mind career building i can so you can't can't do something now and then say okay nahi nahi ab to main ye karunga ab to main so that's like scattered brain approach so we need to have a consistent approach of career i want to build my career in sales management in fmcg countries so what are the possible roles sales manager manager operations maybe a general management role and i want to move forward so we need to plan that once i know the challenges then i need the question is to prioritize how what to prioritize and your quest there is a question on prioritization i answered that so we need to prioritize we don't to know how to prioritize and then we need to see how do we maximize what we prioritize how do we get in that t at the bottom of the t and you would and have at least a t in which there are two legs don't depend on one leg t you must go to A, a a t in which there are at least two legs if you can have three wonderful but one leg is uh, risky i would say so have two areas have a plan a plan b uh, work back from what you want to learn just don't randomly float up good use of the time in maximizing the there can be a lot of distraction and i want to tell you here i am back lord I have been a performer. I've been a star all my life, and saw a girl there. 
And I, I started dating her there. I am Bangalore first year. Six audit finance. Because I couldn't devote time. So I said, hey, dump it. Scared of distractions. There are a lot of distractions in life. So you need to see what is the priority for me in life. I told myself, yeah, okay, let's talk about it later. First, let's do this, because the girl doesn't have to do it here. I'm sorry to use those uh, typical North Indian words in, without any uh, negative connotations attached. So I said, I'll find a girl later on in life. And if I do well, anyway, the girl will come to me. Why? So focused on studies. So I think that's where I have to say, uh, and. Uh, uh, wonderful interacting with all of you. It's been a very challenging and interesting and enjoyable sessions. I want to leave with final thoughts. Remember Iqbal. Kar khudi ko itna bala. Kar khudi ko itna bala. Ki khuda bhi teri har takdeer ko likhne se pehle teri raza puchhe. Something like that. I'm not a, exactly, but you can look at that. And that's, if that is your motto, the world will come to your feet. You don't need Thank to you worry. so much, sir, for your benign presence. So I would like to share some key points. So okay. first is to develop, in order to develop communicational skills, we need to practice and become excellent in it. We need to choose friends wisely, like right circle is very important. And the two mantras to lead a great career life is first is integrity, honesty, and excellence. And right. also in the last, uh, we, we need to learn to prioritize. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. And thank you so, so much, much sir. sir. It was uh, enriching. Thank you, Ayushi. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It was very enriching. And I'm sure that student and I as a faculty and my other faculty members have gained a lot from this session. Absolutely. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank and you. I'm thank you so much. Wonderful interacting. Happy to help any way I can further. Right? Please feel free to connect. Ayushi is already connected to LinkedIn. Thank Anyone you. else wants to connect, happy to connect and help in any possible way. Thank you, sir. I like to see you doing so well that the world comes at the, your feet and say, hey, guys, we want your students. Thank you, sir. Blessings. <laughs> Thank you, sir.